So we have defined the infinitesimal generator or the state transition rate matrix Q. And based on this definition for small h, we can write uh, these two equations here. You see, this is state transition probability from state i to state j, where i and j are different. Okay, so this um, for small h um, is equal to Q sub ij times h plus some higher order terms. So this here, small o h is a function in h squared, h cubed, h to the power of four, etc. So this notation means this is a function that approaches zero faster than h. So when, when h becomes smaller and smaller, they will die out. That's essentially what this means. So essentially when h goes to zero, you can ignore these terms. But um, this transition probability as h goes to zero, I can write as q sub ij times h plus higher order terms. And for i equals j, essentially the, the probability that you do not make a transition at t is equal to one plus q sub i i times h plus higher order terms. Okay. Now this is still a probability. Do not forget q sub i i is a negative quantity. So one plus q sub i i times h is less than one, still a probability. Okay. And uh, based on chapman kolmogorov equations, I'm going to write the difference between the probability, uh, transition probability matrix within time t plus h and the transition uh, probability matrix within time t. Okay, so this I can uh, partition as from zero to time t and then from t to t plus h with a delay of h. So I can write this as P of T times P of H, or alternatively, you can write this as P of H times P of T. We have seen that these are commutable. So P of T times P of H minus P of T equals, well, of course, if you group according to P of T, you get P of T times P of H minus I, or rather, if you write this formulation, that is P of H minus I times P of T. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to divide both sides. So this expression here and this one or the other one, divide both sides by H and take the limit as H goes to zero. Obviously you should notice that on the left-hand side, I should obtain the derivative of P of T. And on the right-hand side, uh, by definition, you have P of T times the infinitesimal generator matrix Q. Okay, so this is just to, so, just to show these are commutable. Uh, but the main result is the derivative of the state transition probability matrix equals the state transition probability matrix multiplied by the infinitesimal generator. Okay, so this is the main relationship between the Q matrix and the P matrix. Okay, Q matrix is the rate matrix or the infinitesimal generator matrix. And P matrix is the state transition probability time and within time T matrix, okay? And remember, we also have the initial condition P of zero equal to I, right? Why? Because within time zero, I do not expect any transitions because there is no time. Therefore, all states are conserved. If you are in state one, you stay at state one. If you are in state two, you stay in state two, etc. So this uh, state transition matrix within time zero is equal to the identity matrix. Now, this is, as you see, a differential equation. It's a matrix differential equation. And this one serves as the initial value. So this is an initial value problem. And if you solve them together, what you get is P of T equals E to the power Q times T. Now, this resembles, well, if, if you, um, well, you should notice that these are matrices, but if you uh, momentarily forget that they are matrices, this a little bit resembles uh, a differential equation like dy dt, let's say f of t equals f of t times um, a. So this, the solution 
of this should be of the form e to the power a t times some constant. Of course, here we have um, a, a, an initial value, so that also factors in. Similar to this, we could have like f of 0 equals 1, which would make this c1, which we see here. Okay, So this is uh, a little bit similar to this situation here. The only difference is, here is you have matrix exponentiation. If you have never seen this, um, it's, it's not uh, exponentiating each component of the matrix, okay? Uh, for instance, if you are familiar to MATLAB, um, let's say you have a matrix A, okay? If you just give the command exp A, MATLAB will compute component-wise exponentiation. This is not what you want, okay, here. This is matrix exponential. So I'm, I'm talking about specifically MATLAB. What you want to do is exp m. This is the matrix exponential. Um, it, you might have seen this if you have taken linear algebra. You might seen, you might have seen how to compute matrix exponentiation through, for instance, eigen decomposition or the Cayley-Hamilton theorem. There are uh, several numerical methods, but the general idea is if you would like to compute the state transition probability matrix within time t and that is equal to e to the power q times t where q is, is the state transition rate matrix okay so here we are going to see the relationship between the two on an example um, let's find the transition probability matrix for the two state continuous time markov chain given below. Now here you see we have two states, state one and state two. Now lambda and mu here are not probabilities. Be careful, okay? Um, the state transition rate from state one to state two is given as lambda and the state transition rate from state two to state one is mu. And of course we have the infinitesimal generator given in this way as you see all rows add up to zeros okay so on on the main diagonal we have negative negative values and the, on the off diagonals we have positive values that are state transition rates so on the diagonals these values gives us the negative values of the rates the total rates out of each state okay now we would like to uh, compute the tr state transition probability matrix at time t when we know the infinitesimal generator matrix here. 